Our foundation supports around a thousand clients across Victoria, generally people with disabilities but also young people um, in out of home care. Zero Tolerance has really comes from the premise that, first of all, do no harm to people. We are here to support and enrich their lives, but we first must make sure that people are safe and free from abuse as best we can do. Um, if we look at the broader community, abuse is an issue everywhere. It's not peculiar to the community services sector, it's part of our society. And I can remember raising the issue of abuse, I could almost hear the oxygen being sucked out of the room. It was just this sense of, <gasps> he said abuse and there was a silence and then I let the silence go for a while and I said it's difficult but we need to talk. We've got brochures, uh, such things as, this is the first one we did called Say No to Abuse, which used a lot of pictograms, help people, particularly clients and families where there might be communication issues, to better understand what we're talking about when we talk about abuse, the various forms it can take and most importantly how to say no and then from that we developed a, a little more sophisticated version later, um, which we've shared around lots of people. And this is just a very simple, keep it to one page. We've found that simplicity is really, really important with this. It's not just about our organisation, it's other organisations, but also people around the sector. So for example, National Disability Services, NDS, have been running a zero tolerance project for quite a while now. They've been a terrific resource for us to use. Um, the Disability Services Commissioner Laurie Harkin and his staff have also been very supportive and, and um, helpful in, in this program. So we don't feel alone, but we have a particular and very important role to play for the group of clients that we work with. So we welcome their support, but you know, encourage others to do the same. Let's look at it as an opportunity to do things differently for the future and that people with disabilities or kids in care have new opportunities about saying, well, we're not going to cop that anymore. And this is one organisation that's not going to allow it to happen.